What I really love about Matthew Wong's work is this sort of strange generosity within it. It's as if he's really trying to share the complex emotions that he's feeling and that he sees in the world. Wong painted a dream in 2018, the same year as his first solo exhibition in New York City at Karma Gallery. The work was made shortly after Wong returned to his native Canada from Hong Kong, where he had been studying in 2009 and had been working as an artist ever since. The way in which it is painted is so spontaneous, yet the elements are also so controlled. You have a dramatic sky, which is painted in these very vivid, bold, horizontal stripes of color. There's a figure resting beneath a tree. In the distance is a coastline, presumably the ocean, possibly a lake, and you can see the water rushing to shore. I think this really speaks to the artists that Wong is probably looking at most. Artists such as Van Gogh, Redon, Birchfield. Artists who really are immersed in landscape and who really tried to capture the mystery and the magic in the world around them. Interestingly, Matthew Wong was basically a self-taught artist who had learned by immersing himself in art history, but also by directly interacting with artists, critics, art historians uh, on social media. There are a great many influences in Wong's work, and to me, he's at his very best when the landscapes are almost hallucinogenic and the viewer truly becomes lost in the compositions. His paintings fuse a strange array of emotions. They can be beautiful, they can be joyous, they can be even unsettling. And to me, this intimacy is exceptionally rare in contemporary art. We're very honored to be offering this painting by Matthew Wong in our upcoming December 8th day sale at Phillips.